Can I have your attention, everyone? I don't know who he really is, but I've been investigating Bacon closely for the past several months. The first person recorded in history by the name of Roger Bacon appeared in England in the 13th century as a priest in the Franciscan order. His scholarly, scholarly training was at the Oxford and Paris universities. His skills as an alchemist and warlock were superb, and his name was known throughout Europe. At that time, he was branded as a revolutionary, but there were also many who felt he was, was persecuted. It seems he may seems he was very cr critical of the church and was even imprisoned for it. Huh? That guy is 700 years old? So he's not human after all. But as I looked deeper into his past, I began to notice some odd things. Roger Bacon may be a peculiar fe fellow, but in million, many ways, he seems a very up right individual. It seems that for years he has also aided leading scholars in the fields of medicine and chemistry. Upright? Any way you look at it, that guy's twisted. Why then did he kill Alice's father? Doesn't make sense. That's it. That's the problem. Finally, in no Nuremberg, I guess, in 1540, something happened that completely changed his life. At the time, all of Europe was caught up in the mass insanity of the witch hunts. Bacon was accused by one of his pupils. Accused? You mean he was put on trial before the church? A pupil warned the tribunal that Bacon's research had gone too far, threatening to corrupt society. It finally ended in his exile. After that point, we can only glance, catch glimpses of him throughout history, such as now, as a force of evil. I see. I guess he got sucked down to the murky black depths of society. So, the question is, this person that Bacon was trying to prevent Alice's father from meeting, who on earth could it be? Wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be best to ask the person directly? Alice, the person who introduced your father, Elliot, to the mystery, mystery man, it was Father Doyle, wasn't it? Yes, but the church is closed, and we couldn't get in. <laughs> you fools! Lord Bacon spared your life. You still intend to go to the church? I won't let you. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That voice. Arcane Olga. She's watching us from somewhere. Let's hurry. Select the party members to participate in battles. I didn't fit to fight any battles since I picked my first party and they keep asking me. Who has more HP? He does. Sorry, Margaret. We're taking the boys for now. Yes. There's still nothing in here. I was hopeful.
Inside, but it looks easy to open. Open, damn you! Spin ring, oh god. Unlike normal ring, keeps spinning after one rotation. The rotation accelerates and continues to spin. If you hit three rotations, you succeed. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's one later that's really, really bad. That? It's a ten. <laughs> Take a look. Who, who is it? Hey, are you the priest here? Wh what do you want? Have you come to kill me? Father Doyle! It's me, Alice Elliot! Alice... That's... that's impossible! Alice was kidnapped by the devil a long time ago! She can't be alive! I'm sorry to scare you, but it is me! I'm finally back in this town! Is it really you, Alice? No, it can't... I can't believe it! You can't fool me! You're just an illusion! You must be the devil! Come to take my life away! Oh, whoa! Please, Father Doyle! Tell me about the man my father is trying to meet that day. I want to know. Whatever it takes, it must stop Roger Bacon! Bacon? No! Wait, I'll tell you everything. Just please spare my life! Please, don't kill me! This is quite serious. He thinks we're all Bacon's lackeys. He must have gone through some unimaginable, dreadful experiences. Oh, Father, relax. We're not going to do anything to you. Just answer our questions. That's all we want, okay? Okay, okay. Anything you say. Alice, I'll tell you everything I know about your father. It all started 23 years ago. In 1890, three secret books of magic were stolen from the Vatican. The books contained forbidden secrets of sorcery and alchemy. Long held under the lock and key by the Pope, the disappearance of the books caused the Vatican to panic. They immediately called in two of the finest exorcists to find the and recover the secret books. One was your father, Morris Elliot. And the other was his friend, Father James of of Flattery. Father of Fla of Flaherty? Why can't I say his names in this game? My God! <laughs> the two of them wandered through Europe for many years in search of the missing volumes. They traveled together at first, but when a daughter was born to Elliot, they traveled separately. Then, in 1899, Father O'Flattery disappeared in England. 
I remember that. I was only five or six years old. It was all in that last letter he sent to my father. It said one of the books had been, been purchased by a scholar living in Wales, so we went to take a look. But no second letter ever came. Afterwards, Father Elliot began to hunt for the criminal himself, and then he finally found him. And it was Roger Bacon. Yes, but Father Elliot was terrified of Bacon. As well he should have been. Bacon's a thousand years old old demon. There's no humanity left in him. Your father had to protect his wife and daughter, and he knew that if those books were defiled, terrible forces of hell would come would be summoned to earth. 